This is an overview of the post blocks widget by Limited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the post blocks widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it presents your posts in a grid format. Each post has an image, a title, a date, an intro text, and a call to action button. I'm going to take you over the settings and show you how you can customize this to your needs. The first setting is for number of items in each row. So we can change this, for example, to two. And now in each row, there are just two items, just as you can see right now. This setting is a responsive setting. So if I jump into tablet, I can set this to a different amount. For example, if on tablet, I just want one item, I can do that as well. Let's jump back into desktop. And the next setting is for setting the grid gap. The gap is the space between the items. So you can just use the slider to push this up or down according to your needs. Text alignment is for alignment inside of the box. So I can align the text to the center, for example, to achieve a different layout. Button text is for changing the text inside of the button. For example, if I want to change it from read more to learn more, I can do that. Or maybe I'm using this for a portfolio, so I would change this to view project. Looking awesome. The next thing that I'm going to do is jump into layout. And over here, we can turn on or off each part of the post blocks. For example, I can take off the image. I can take off the date, the text, and maybe leave only a title and a button. That's just one example. Next part is in post query. Over here, we can filter our posts. So right now we're showing all the posts under post type, and I can filter this by terms, categories, and stuff like that. For example, this can even work with the post type by WooCommerce, which is product. So if I click over here, products, now I'm going to see products. So this can be used as a product grid as well. Let's jump back into posts. And over here, you can see you can change the ordering in any way you want. That's presented right over here in the drop down and change the direction of the ordering, descending, ascending. Maximum number of posts. Right now we're showing 10 posts. So you can change this, for example, if you want to show only six posts, then you can change that setting and now you can see there are only six posts over here. I'm going to jump into style and take you over the settings inside of the style tab. So first of all, we can make these rounded by pushing up the border radius of the boxes. Right now, the border is set to solid, one pixel and a gray color. So let's just push this up a little bit so you can see it. Here's our border. We can play around with the border type. If you don't want a border at all, just set this to none and you won't have a border. Down here, we can change the background color of the box. So right now the background color is white. You can change it to any color we want and you can even add a background image. Inside of content, this is the padding around the content area, around this area over here. So for example, if I'll change this to zero, you can see that right now it's snapping to the top and to the bottom. So I'm going to change this, for example, to top 30 pixels and let's leave that snap that way. Next setting is for image. We can change the image height to whatever height we want. And if you don't want your image to get cropped, you can change this to contain. That's good for images with a white background or stuff like that, that you don't want to adapt responsibly. Title settings, you can change title typography, spacing, space everything out, color and hover color because the title is actually a link over here. And we have the date that we turned off and the text that we turned off. Let's jump into button. Inside of the button, there's an interesting setting which is called button style. We can make our button full width. So you can see we're creating a really awesome layout over here. And of course, you can change everything else. For example, button padding. Let's add some padding on top and bottom of the button. And you can see we're getting a higher button. Let's jump back into content. 
and over here in layout let's turn off the title and maybe change the padding around the content over here so I need to jump into style content and I'll change this to zero and now you can see we got an awesome layout I hope you guys like this tutorial if you did please give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video